he figured if you, if you take this morning that you don't have eternal life, get in his presence. Get in his word. It's life. Yes. It's eternal life. He says forever. We can't grasp how it, how it works. But he's telling us, just believe. Right. That I am what I said I am. Mm. I'm eternal. Say, 
No one is righteous, not even one. All right. No one is truly wise. No one is seeking God. All have turned away. All have become useless. No one does good, not a single one. Their talk is foul, like the stench from an open grave. All right. Their tongues are filled with lies. Snake venom drips from their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. They rush to commit murder. Destruction and misery always follow them. They don't know where to find peace. Mm. They have no fear of God at all. Mm. Wow. So, the question is, that he asked Jesus, how can I inherit eternal life? All right. How can I have access to life? Right. Without Christ, we have no access to life. Mm. Right. And the young man told me, like, and he's asking about the commandments. He said, I kept those. I did those. But he still didn't have life. Mm. All right. You can keep the law all day long mm -hmm. and not have life. Wow. Right. The only way you can get life is through Christ. Amen. Yeah. Because we're going to act the way Romans said we're going to act. Mm. We're going to fight, fight. We're going to do whatever we want to do mm -hmm. without Christ. He said we like vipers. Outside of Christ, we are snakes. That's true. This word. We are snakes. Outside of Christ, we are snakes. We would we, we would do anything. Yes, sir. Say anything. Yes, sir. Outside of Christ. Because we don't have the knowledge of God, we do those things. Alright. But we have knowledge today of who he is. Amen. Go to John. John 1. We're talking about having eternal life. All right. Do you, do you believe that you have eternal life now? That's your name. Yeah. Amen. Do you, believe you, do you believe that you have eternal life now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have it, Pastor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, John 1. Look at verse 35 through, man, 35 through, we're going to, we're going to, I got to have a lot of we're going to go through this quick. Look at uh, verse 35 through, Here's the results for the search. <laughs> see, come on, guys, come on, guys. <laughs> Start at verse 35, I see you. The following day, John was again standing with two of his disciples. As Jesus walked by, John looked at him and declared, Look, there is the Lamb of God. When John's two disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. Jesus looked around and saw them follow him. What do you want? He asked them. They replied, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come and see, he said. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they went with him to the place where he was staying and they remained with him the rest of the day. Andrew, Simon's bro Simon Peter's brother, was one of these men who heard what John said and then followed Jesus. Andrew went to find his brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. Then Andrew brought Simon to meet Jesus. Looking intently at Simon, Jesus said, Your name is Simon, son of John. But you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. All right. Go on out of there. Go on out of there. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Come follow me. Philip was from Bethsaida, Andrew and Peter's hometown. Philip went to look for Nathaniel and told him, We have found the very person Moses and the prophets wrote about. His name is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nazareth exclaimed, Nathaniel, can anything good come from Nazareth? Come and see for yourself, Philip replied. As they approached Jesus, as they approached, Jesus said, Now here is a genuine son of Israel, a man of complete integrity. 
How do you know about me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus replied, I could see you under the fig tree before Philip found you. Then Nathaniel exclaimed, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, the King of Israel. Jesus asked him, Do you believe this just because I told you I have seen you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Wow. Right? Now, they had perception of who Jesus was. Right. One said Messiah, one said the Son of God, one said the Lamb of God. But they didn't say eternal life. Mm. All right. They had a perception of who he was. They didn't know fully who he was. All but right. it was his presence. Become being in his presence gave them opportunity to really know who he really was. Being with him. Being with him. Go to uh, first, uh, chapter 5. We're talking about, I want to live. All right. In order to live, we have to have knowledge of God. Amen. Of who he is. Who his son is. Look at verse 24. Chapter 5. Hey, John. I tell you the truth. Those who listen to my message and believe in God, who sent me, have eternal life. Hold on. He's telling us something. He said, if you listen to me and have my word, you have eternal life. Right now. All right. If you, don't, if you didn't believe that, the word is telling you right now. Right. That you have eternal life. Mm -hmm. You have everlasting. Forever. No beginning, no end. You have that right now. If you just hold on to God's word. Amen. All right. If you hold on to his word, he said his word is eternal life. Yeah. Right. Go to uh, verse 36. Through forty. If you want life, this is how you get life. But I have a greater witness than John. My teachings and my miracles, the Father gave me these works to accomplish, and they proved that he sent me. And the Father who sent me has testified about me himself. Mm -hmm. You have never heard his voice or seen him face to face. And you do not know, and you do not have his message in your heart. My God. Because you do not believe me. Wow. The one he sent to you. Hmm. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life. But the scriptures point to me. Right. Yet you refuse to come to me to receive this life. My God. Wow. Y'all see what Jesus said? Hmm. He said you have the scriptures, but you still, you search it. But you still don't have life. Because wow. you don't believe in the one that's talking about it. Right. All right. Right. If we don't believe, we don't have it. Yeah. If we don't believe, we don't have life. Right. If we want to live, we have to truly believe. That's right. We have to truly believe in his word. That's what right. Jesus is telling us, we have to truly believe that. That's the only way we're going to have life. That's the only way we're going to be able to live. If we believe in his word. We have to believe the word. Go to chapter 6. Look at verse 35. Because the Pharisees, they, was, they had the scriptures, but they didn't have life. All right. The young, the young ruler came in. He had the scriptures, but he didn't have life. Mm. He was missing something. Well, That's why he asked you. I need something. I'm missing something. I've been keeping all these commands all for my for my duty. I've been doing according to the law all my life. But I'm missing something. All right. He knew that within himself he was missing something. But he didn't really know what it really was. Because he was asking Jesus eternal life, but he didn't really know what that was. He didn't know really, he really didn't know what that was. Go to uh read uh do 35, jump to 38, and do 40 and 51. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Yeah. Hold on. Who Jesus say is? The bread, bread of life. life. That life, if you look up that life, it's the same life that we talked about. Eternal life. Jesus said he is eternal life. 
Right. Eternal life is a person. All right. All right. It's a person. And it's Christ. Right. He said, I am that life that you that you be. He said, I am that. He said, you don't be. And you, you read over in that chapter. I don't want to go through that chapter. But you read over in that chapter when Jesus was talking about eat of me, eat of my flesh. All right. Drink my blood. Right. He's talking about if you want life, you got to partake of me. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. That's the only way. All right. He said, I am eternal life. I am the bread of life. Whatever you be to have life is me. Right. That's what Jesus is telling us. It's me that you be. If you can't if we, if we can't get in his word and study his word and believe his word, we don't have life. Because his word is life. His word is life. Go to chapter 10. Look at verse 27 and 28. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. For my Father has given them to me, and he is more powerful than anyone else. Wow. <laughs> Jesus said that. Now, the only people that are going to receive this life is this sheep. All right. All right. It's the sheep. And the Jesus is the only one that's offering life. Right. <laughs> you can't go no other, other way outside of Jesus. You don't have life. You have death. Yep. You a viper. You ready to fight. You you ready you ready to strike. You ready to backbite. All right. You ready not to begin. All outside right. of Jesus, that's what we that's what we become. Stay that's there. what we are. Outside of Jesus. And Jesus said, I have, I am eternal life. Right. If you want eternal life, if you're looking for eternal life down the road, you miss it. Yeah. He said, I am what that is. If you have, if you're looking down the road for eternal life, you wish for eternal life down the road, you miss it. You miss it. You miss it. Jesus said, I am eternal life. If you have me, you have eternal life. All right. Go to 14, chapter 14, make that 6. Jesus said he is eternal life. That, that a person is looking for to live is Jesus Christ. All right. No way around. Uh, what verse 6 and 14 say? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, my God. Whatever you need, whatever direction you need to go, whatever knowledge, direction that you need for your life to go, Jesus said, I am there. All right. Whatever understanding that you need, Jesus said, I am there. I am knowledge. We read the Jose. Jose said, This is how we are destroyed. Right. Because we don't have knowledge. Right. Mm. Jesus, I am that knowledge that you be to live. He said, I am that. Now we see Jesus eternal life. Go to first John. <laughs> Go to first John chapter one. God will be about my sleep. I said, Wow. <laughs> Look at chapter, uh, look at verse 2. First John. This one who is life itself was revealed to us. Right. And we have seen him. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. Wow. Hold on. Who are you talking about? He said. John said, we came from St. John, we had St. John. He said, this one, I'm reading the uh, new letter. This one who is life from God has been shown to us. And we guarantee that we have seen him. 
I am speaking of Christ, who is eternal life. All right. His life showed up in a body form. Mm -hmm. He said, this is eternal life. All right. You can get around. You can't go to Buddha. Muhammad, wherever you want to go, you don't have no life. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they got so much stuff on this YouTube stuff, man. It's like, it, if you don't know Christ, man, you will go with every wind and die. Yeah. All right. The ancestries, I, 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 I'm calling out to my ancestors. Come on, dude. What, 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 what? You talking about the dead folks? <laughs> to need you? I'm telling you. If we don't have Christ, right. we don't have right. eternal life. Mm. Look at it, go to chapter 2. Now, that's the reason why John was with Jesus the way he was with Jesus. All right. He was, John was on the three. Look at verse 23 in chapter 2 in 1 John. Anyone who denies the Son doesn't have the Father either. But anyone who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. So you must remain faithful to what you have been taught from the beginning. All right. If you do, you will remain in fellowship with the Son and with the Father. And in this fellowship, we enjoy the eternal life He promised us. My God, he's 25. Okay. New Devin said, it's 25 says, and he himself also promised us eternal life. This All right. Is the Father. The Father. Go to chapter, chapter 5. Go to chapter 5. Look at verse 11. We're going to read 11 through 13, then we jump to 20. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life. Mm -hmm. And this life is in his Son. All right. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have God's Son does not have life. Wow, look at verse 20. And we know that the Son of God has come, and he has given us understanding so that we can know the true God. And now we live in fellowship with the true God because we live in fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ. Right. Wow. He is the only true God, and he is eternal life. Now, who he said, now we just read earlier, Jesus was eternal life. Yeah. Uh, and what for Jesus? To be in fellowship with God, he had to also be eternal life too. Mm. Yes. Mm. He just read that. He said God is eternal life too. The Father. Yeah. Now he said, now we can fellowship with him. All right. In Christ and the Father. Mm. And the Son and the Father is eternal life. So what that because? Eternal life. Right. We eternal life. Because we sons of the Father. All right. We brothers. With Christ, eternal life. So if you want to live, you live in Christ. Eternal life, everlasting. But we, our mind cannot grasp that because it's like, because when you look up everlasting, it's like no beginning, no end. But when you look at it on a natural side, it's like, I did, I had a beginning. And I had right. an end. But in Christ, you don't have no beginning. All right. You have to end it. All right. But you know, it won't, it won't make sense when God show up. <laughs> All right. But we have eternal life. Right. God is eternal life. Right. Jesus is eternal life. Right. We are eternal life. And go to Genesis 15. One. This is all about God. Genesis 15, 
one. All right. Sometime later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abram, for I will protect you, and your reward will be great. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord. God is affirming to Abraham, I'm all you ever need. Yeah. I'm your inheritance. God, this, 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 this is what he tells us today. If you want eternal life, I'm all that. And a bag of cookies, man. All right. I'm all that. If you want eternal life, I'm everything that you need. I am. Like your brother preached the other week. I am. Everything that you need, I am that. Right. That's what God is telling us. And, and what come with I am, I bring a lot of stuff with I am. Yeah. My pre God said my presence is all you need. Me yeah. just showing up yeah. in your life is all you need. Mm -hmm. All that stuff will come with it. Mm -hmm. And because you, you go back in what we read in Mark, and people say, now we left everything. He said, we left everything to follow you. All right. But he said, when you read them down, he said, you want some stuff come with that, though. You want multiply behind following me. Yeah. Then he's going to wonder about your friends. You're going to lose friends. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to get ten times more friends. Family members. He said, you're going to increase by following me. By allowing, be, being in my presence. That's what God is telling us. Being in his presence. You increase. We increase. All we, right. we don't add. We multiply. Amen. With God. We multiply. We don't add. Not with God. We multiply. So God is eternal life. Jesus is eternal life. Go to John 17. St. John. Oh God, yeah, he, he's a mess, man. I don't even. St. John 17, read 1 through 4. I'm on with you, yeah. After saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. And this is the way to have eternal life. To know you... Hold on. Stop right there. Yeah. Now we read Hosea. He said, man, this is how we are destroyed. Right. God, we don't know nothing. You're right now. God said, now I'm showing you something. I'm trying to show you something. I'm showing you that uh, my son is eternal life. Right. I showed you my word is eternal life. All right. I showed you I am eternal life. Well, read, that, read that again. And this is the way to have eternal life. He said, now this is the way. If you want eternal life, if you didn't get what I, we just went through, if you want eternal life, he said it's him. He gives eternal life to each one of us. This is a new living. He gives eternal life, knowing him. He said, and uh, I'm going to read it in three. He said, and this is the way to hell to hell. Eternal life. All right. By knowing, by knowing the only true God and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. My God. Knowing. All right. He said, knowing him mm -hmm. gives you eternal life. Mm -hmm. Being in God's presence, you can't get you can't get no God you in His presence. All right. That's right. You can't, just like he said, Adam Eve. Now, I brought this woman to you now. You cleave to her. Mm -hmm. Get to know her. That y'all may become one. You can't become one without being in somebody's presence. All right. God said, no way, man. Being in my presence 
you become, you, you, you have uh, uh, eternal life. Eternal life is given to you by knowing me, by becoming in fellowship with me, being in my presence. Go to Romans 6. Oh my God. Romans 6. Read uh, verse 1 through 3. Then you do 6, 9, 16, and 20. You just going to, when you do 1 through, through 3, you just going to do 6, then you do 9. <laughs> but just keep, keep what we just read. Knowing him gives you access to eternal life. All right. Okay, all right. Go ahead, bro. Well, then. Should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Who are you talking to? Is it us? Oh, yeah. oh, he just talking to the word. Okay, go ahead, bro. Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? All right. Wow. Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death? Wow. When we join eternal life, <laughs> we just want something. Look at verse 6. Read 6. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our life. Okay. Now we, we come to knowledge of something. All right. All right. We come in, in fellowship with Christ. We come into knowledge. All right. So we come into knowledge. We, we uh, now, nah. we are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead. Wow. He will never, live, and he will never die again. Y'all hear it, though. Y'all hear Jesus, though. Knowing keep us from destruction. Knowing right. God. Because you can have wisdom, worldly wisdom, and you still go to destruction. Yep. But he said, knowing Christ, what he, what he have done and what he is doing, yeah. You have life. Everlasting life. Yeah. 16. He said, no. You are sure. I'm sure. I believe. I believe. Uh, verse 16. Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Knowing. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you realized? Knowing the knowledge of God, he's telling us this morning, knowing him, being in his presence, come, some, some come with that, life. But we get the chance to hang out with God. We get the chance to know the love of the Father. All right. Being in his presence. We get the chance to fellowship with him. Second Peter. Second Peter 1. I know this is not a thought. Uh, uh, Hooping and hollering, serving, but man. One, uh, one, sorry, verse. Oh, let me shut down. Verse, uh, verse 1 sorry, verse 1 to 9. We almost through. This letter is from Simon Peter, a slave and apostle of Jesus Christ. I am writing to you who share the same precious faith we have. This faith was given to you because of the justice and fairness of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. May God give you more and more grace and peace as you grow in the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Hold on, he said that. It was something given to us. Mm -hmm. But because of the gift, we just not don't we just don't sit on. He said we need to grow in the knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. That's right. Who the Father is, mm -hmm. who the Holy Spirit is. Right. Growing in God. We have to grow in God, man. Because He's life. We are we are life because we in Him. If you want life, like this. The young man said, I want life. Mm -hmm. The only way you can get it, Christ. The only way you can get it is being in, in the presence of Christ. All right. In the presence of the Father. The, the only way we can get it. Oh, let's, let's go to Revelation 4. Uh, medicine went to Revelation. Oh, man, you can go to the scripture, man. God took me too. 
That eternal life that we're looking for to the man and the heaven man is God. Amen. Yeah. That's God. That's how he told Abraham, I'm your reward. All right, yeah. All we going through, it don't come. This, the scripture said it don't compare to right. God. Yeah. All the, the struggles, the fight, the heartache that we go through, it don't compare. That's why God said it don't compare mm -hmm. to what, what he has in store for us. Right. God is everything we ever would imagine. Mm -hmm. He's everything. All right. So he's, well, let's look at, uh, one, one, look at one through seven. Read one through seven. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne, saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Mm -hmm. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. All right. And he also said, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of the water of life. Wow. That's a mighty drop right there. Yeah. God is telling us he just won't do it on us. Mm -hmm. He just won't. Just like he told Moses about the sanctuary. I won't do well with my people. Right. That's all God want to do, man. He just want to hang out with us, man. Right. Eternal life want to hang out with eternal life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus wanted to go back to the eternal life. All right. He was eternal life. Mm -hmm. he, he wanted to fellowship with his father. God wanted all it. And that's all God wanted us to do is fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. He said now, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am life. Everlasting. I'm here today. And just like the young man said, I want to inherit life. All right. That's how you think. Father Christ. Amen. Get in fellowship. Get in Christ's presence. All right. If you want eternal life, if you, figure, if you, if you think this morning that you don't have eternal life, get in his presence. Get in his word. It's life. Yeah. It's eternal life. He says forever. Right. We can't grasp how it, how it works. Right. But he's telling us, just believe. Right. That I am what I said I am. Mm -hmm. I'm eternal life. My father is eternal life. My word is eternal life. You are eternal life when you are in me. And the father just wants to bring eternal life to you. So you can visually no, you can visually see it. Alright. He said. His, the, the new Jerusalem is coming out. All right. He said, now, God house is with his, with his people. His home is with his people. God won't be home, man, with us, man. We are his home. So, if you, if you want eternal life, get in the presence of God. Yeah. Get in the word of God. Get in fellowship with Christ. Get in his presence. If you want eternal life. If you want to live, it's the only way we can live. It's being in his presence. Believing in his word. He said, you believe in my word, you have eternal life already. Right. right. Don't be looking for it down the road. Yeah. He said, you already have it. If you believe it, just believe it. But if you don't believe it, you don't have it. My God. So if you don't have it, you don't have life. So just like the man was saying, that dash, make it count. Make it count. Make that dash count, man. Because we all here. And I'm, no, I've been spending a little more time with Pastor, and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see some things, man. And it's like, we got, 
we don't, you know, we don't really have the fellowship like we need to, man. We don't know who labor among us. We don't know one another. But Jesus said, me and Father, we want, we fellowship. Uh -huh. We eternal life. And we all are eternal life. But we don't ever spend no time with each other. We don't ever iron shop and iron. I know like everything going, we just going, man. Work, kids, home, everything, we just going. But we got to set the time. And I did uh, I never did a birthday party. Birthday celebration. No did. Since I've been fucked up. No did. And two weeks ago was my first time ever doing that. And God paid for my heart. Fellowship. It wasn't about me. It was about fellowship. Mm -hmm. It's about fellowship, man. Because we may have our differences. Fellowship, man. We got to get. We got to have more than that, man. Amen. We got to have that. Amen. Amen. You know, we got to have different. We gonna bump here. Paul said, we, "He said in Romans, you may have a brother that believe in this. He may be weak in this area, but that don't make him not your brother. You didn't die for him. Christ died for him. You're right. You're right. We, but it's still we got to have that fellowship, man. All right. That's why God said, "Don't forsake us and allow us in together." Now you probably come to the building, it's just about fellowship because we the church. We don't have that, man. We don't have nothing, man. My God. We don't have that. So we got to we got to we gotta get this thing together because more people coming. Amen. Come on now. More people coming, man. And we got to represent Christ. Be yeah. our eternal life. You know, go to bed telling yourself, I'm eternal life. I am eternal life. I live for help. <laughs> Make yourself believe that. You got to persuade yourself. Yeah. I am a believer. I am in I am in I am in, I am. Right. I'm in Christ. I walk in Christ. Yeah. Yeah, we may fall here. We may, yeah, we may get stuck. But if we know the fellowship, how can I get you out the hood don't when you stuck? Yeah. Come on. How can I do that? You know what? Man, it's like, you know, sometimes I, I go through my thing, I be wanting to be by myself, man. I don't want to deal with nobody. But I have to call somebody. I got to call somebody. We got to have one another back, man. You know, that he can. God needs us to have his back, too. Because he got a lot of his back, man. Being, you know, being a shepherd of his, of his flock. A lot of stuff going on. You know what I, I learned, and I'm going to end with this. You know, it's a lot on his plate, man. Y'all already know it. What's going on with him in his mind, man? And I'll listen to this guy who's talking about the mental health of pastors and bishops and stuff. Y'all, if y'all really go online and look at pastors that commit suicide, this is stuff going on, man. They got to deal with a lot of all the issues. Then they got to deal with home. Then they got to deal with work. They got to deal with job. They got they got to deal with the world, man. There's a lot going on. No, but we can come in as parishioners. We just come to church and we go that on. Mm -hmm. But he got a lot of people calling. Mm -hmm. He just got easy, got easy. It's a lot got going on. It's a lot going on here. We got to keep him and his family in prayer, man. Amen. Yeah, keep him in prayer. So yes, amen. God is leading us. So I just thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity to. Share with y'all what God has given me about eternal life. You have it. Christ is it. The Father is it. His word is it. Us believing makes us have it. We have it, man. Eternal life. It's here. It's present. It's in us. Amen. 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 Father, I just thank you for your word. Jesus, I thank you for showing us that you are eternal life. That we our partakers with you, we are eternal life, Father God. Father, we just thank you for sharing your eternal life with us. Yes, Giving us the opportunity to become eternal life. To come in fellowship with you. Father God, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for the faith that you have given us, the gift that you have given us to believe in you. Yes, God. Father God, we just thank you for the love that you have given us to love one another. May we increase in love. May we increase in knowledge in your son Jesus Christ and yourself. 
And Holy Spirit, we just thank you for giving us the knowledge of you, of the Father, showing us and directing us, leading us into all truth. You know, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.